It's race day vlog 13. Warming up a bit now. Today, we're off to Wath. <laughs> we're going to the Yorkshire Points. It's Sunday today and we didn't race yesterday. We didn't do Brock, so we didn't do the Knots and Derby. Uh, we had a day off and focused on the Yorkshire Points today. So we're going to Wath upon Dern, which is the last Yorkshire Point series. Um, it's at the Wath Academy, I believe. I think it's just in a school grounds, basically, which is sort of like Bingham, uh, which hopefully, touch wood, will be okay. <laughs> Not super muddy, um, but we'll just, you know, wait and see what happens. I've got no idea what to expect. I've had two weeks off racing, so I'm excited to get back to the penultimate race of the season i can't believe it only today and next week's race is left and then and then it's off season it's been frosty overnight so it's going to be a cold one it's clear outside so i don't think there's much chance of rain but i do think it's going to be very cold Woth, woth, woth. We had a slight dilemma this morning in that the battery in my dad's van died. So we've brought my bike separately. Luckily he's on his way, so I will have a second bike. But we're gonna go back and get changed now. We just had a bit of a walk of the course. Um, just loads and loads of banking. Off camper banking central is, is the word of the day today. I think, unless anything significant changes. So we'll go back and get changed and then see if we can hop on the course before um, any of the races start. finally been for a little walk around the course and this is going to be a lung buster. Um, it's a good course, it's pretty technical, there's quite a lot of off camber um, so it's gonna it's getting a bit slippier because it's warming up a bit now. Less rock solid, more slippy. Um, it's gonna be fun!
evening and we just got home and have unpacked the van and sorted the bikes out so I'm just doing my race report after today's race. Today's race first of all Sophie Thackeray is a cyclocross goddess she's just amazing. I think she almost lapped me twice she definitely lapped me once. The course was really good but I have an overarching issue in very long draggy sections of courses I'm just really bad at. I just, it just zaps my energy and everyone else is so much faster than me and I'm really not sure why. Maybe it is just my fitness but it's um, something that I've noticed on pretty much every course that I've done. I am i don't lose much time in the technical sections but the place that I always lose all of my time is on the long draggy sections and there was one really really long uphill section today and it sort of had mossy grass and I was riding muds um, as most people were as well um, but I think that there might have been a combination of that and my legs just didn't I just didn't feel like I had anything in my legs to push against or going on those uphills which was a bit frustrating and then I think I just sort of got in my own head a little bit so it was really really slippy in some of the off camber sections. It was just the long the long draggy section that I think really let me down so I tried a number of different um, gears on the long section just to sort of work out would it, do I make up speed if I have something a bit more to push against or if I spin so I just sort of looked at that as basically practice. I, I was like, do you know what? I'm not going to get good results today. So let's try and learn from this race. So I tried different things. And then there was an off camber corner and Sophie lapped me and I tried to follow her line. And I think because I did it slower than she did, I just slipped all the way down. I didn't fall off, but my my back wheel just went, so I just slipped all the way down. I don't understand why I slipped. It's because you weren't going fast enough. So I think I definitely need, well, I already know that I need to work on my technical sections, carrying speed through my technical sections. Um, that's going to come with mountain biking this summer. I'm getting a mountain bike for my birthday and I'm very much excited about that. It was just that, that draggy section to be honest. It was a good course, I really enjoyed the course. There wasn't loads of people there today. There was a far, far, far smaller field of women than there normally is. I guess maybe after national champs, a lot of people have ended their season. So it was quite a small field. Um, and yeah, it was a beautiful day. The sun was shining, it was so beautiful. Although there was one section of the course where, because the sun was so bright, you turned into this corner and you just couldn't see anything. So you didn't know, I didn't know how far I was supposed to be going up this banking and then I just sort of guessed my turn. It was fine. I'm definitely glad that it was sunny and not raining or cold. Yeah, penultimate race done. I just need to work on my uphill, basically. <laughs> So now that the penultimate race is done, we have one more race left and it is Chetwind Barracks at Knotts and Derby next Saturday and I am really looking forward to it. The very final race of the season. 
So hopefully I will see some of you there. I am really looking forward to it. I have a love-hate relationship with Chetwin Barracks. Hopefully the course is not going to be like it was last time when you had to pedal downhill. That's all I'm going to say. I have decided I am still going to vlog after the season's over. I think I'm going to do maybe like a, an off-season weekly vlog like I used to do when I was back at uni. So the weekly vlogs may be coming back, but I'm definitely going to carry on vlogging in some capacity over spring and summer because I just, I can't stop vlogging. <laughs> so thank you for watching. My socials are in the description. Hopefully I will maybe see you next week and see you in next week's video. <laughs>